Good evening and welcome to Ion Bulletin. My name is Safa Sikda, bringing you the latest news of the UK and around the world. The Chancellor has unveiled increased support for jobs and workers hit by COVID restrictions after growing clamour from firms in Tier 2 areas. Rishi Sunak announced big changes to the job support scheme, set to replace furlough in November. He told the Commons that even businesses not forced to shut were facing profound economic uncertainty. Under the, under the revised scheme, employers will pay 20% and staff can work fewer hours before they qualify. Instead of a minimum requirement of paying 55% of wages for a third of hours, employers will have to pay for a minimum of 20% of usual hours worked and 5% of hours not worked. Students have been left feeling threatened and unsafe after a LGBT University Association Zoom meeting was hijacked by more than 15 people shouting homophobic slurs. The online meeting at Durham University was disrupted with loud music, shouted abuse and sexually explicit videos, say LGBT groups at the university. The event was for new students who are already facing COVID restrictions. Durham University said such behavior will not be tolerated. The idea of a normal Christmas is a fiction and Scots should prepare for digital celebrations. National Clinical, Clinical Director Jason Leitch has said, the government has insisted that the latest COVID-19 restrictions are having an impact on the spread of the virus. But Professor Leitch also told there was absolutely no question of a normal Christmas being allowed. Measures could be eased if case numbers fall, but Ms. Leitch said people should get their digital Christmas ready. Opposition politicians said the public would be devastated by the news and called for more details. First Minister Nicola Sturgeon said the government was making really tough decisions and would not tell people what they want to hear to make it easier in the here and now. U.S. national security officials say Iran was responsible for sending threatening emails to Democratic voters ahead of next month's presidential election. The emails appeared to come from a far-right pro-Trump group and were meant to incite unrest, said FBI Director John Radcliffe. Both Iran and Russia denied the accusations of election interference. U.S. sex offender Jeffrey Epstein's former girlfriend, Ghislaine Maxwell, said she never witnessed inappropriate underage activities by him, according to transcripts of a 2016 deposition. The, dip the deposition was made in a now settled civil defamation lawsuit brought by one of the late financiers' accusers, Virginia Geoffrey. Ms. Maxwell had long fought to keep the testimony secret, however, she will go on a trial in a criminal case next year and has pleaded not guilty. She is accused of helping Epstein traffic and sexually abuse underage girls and of perjury for having denied involvement in such scheme when she gave her deposition under oath. The United States, the United Kingdom and European Union and the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees today brought the international community together and pledged to do everything possible for supporting Rohingyas, the host communities, terming, terming it a human rights crisis and human rights tragedy. They said this crisis requires a regional solution. The participants laid emphasis on stronger partnerships, saying Rohingyas must be given a voice. At least three people were killed and 20 were injured as a Dhaka-bound bus fell into a roadside ditch in Monikonjus Shingar Upazila this afternoon. The deceased were identified as Rida Hussain, who was age 28, the bus driver Anwar Begum, 65, a passenger and a pedestrian Nikhil Shakar, who was 25. This was all for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.